My name is Jessica and today I'm going to be showing you this Valentine's Day date night look. This video is in collaboration with Kathy Gyung here on YouTube. She's really talented and super pretty and she's also Vietnamese so make sure you go and check her channel out. She's doing the Valentine's Day day look and I'm doing the night look. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. First I'm just going to do my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade to create an outline and fill in my eyebrows. Smarty, small, baby. And now I'm just going to clean up the perimeter of my eyebrows using the Anastasia Pro Pencil. I'm using the Benefit Brow Bow Conditioning Primer. I got this for free at Ulta when their brow collection just came out, but I probably wouldn't have gotten it otherwise because this is seriously a waste of money. I just like how it looks wet after you first apply it, but it doesn't keep your eyebrows in place all day. And the conditioning part of it is not true. It does not make your eyebrows fuller over time. Now I'm just priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion. Next I'm going to use the dual ended brush that came with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to set my entire eyelids with tempera. For the transition shade, I'm using a mixture of Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna. And then I'm going to deepen that up a little bit with Taupe from the Lorac Pro Palette. Next, I'm using Sable to deepen up the crease a little bit. And then I'm going to use a mixture of Taupe and Sable on the outer V. Using the Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion, I'm going to cut half of my crease. And then I'm going to set that with a mixture of gold and LT bronze. I'm not doing a winged liner today, so I'm just going to use Espresso on the outer V to create a wing-like effect. Now I'm just using the Bioderma Micellar Water to clean that up. And then I'm going to apply some of the Inglot Gel Liner to my lash line. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. For lashes, I'm using the Allure Luxe Baroque Lashes. I recently started putting my falsies underneath my eyelashes instead of on top of them. I really love how natural it looks, especially when you're closing your eyes and you don't see the lash band. Moving on to the face, I'm just going to prime with the Benefit Professional. I'm using a mixture of L'Oreal's Total Cover Foundation and my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I really love the full coverage that this combination gives me, but I've been kind of into lighter coverage foundations recently, so if you have any recommendations, please let me know. And then I'm just going to blend that all out with my Beauty Blender. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in 20 Light. And then I'm going to bake with my RCMA No Color Powder. For contour, I'm using the Kevin and Kwan Sculpting Powder in Medium. Going back to the eyes, I'm going to use Sable from the Lorac Pro Palette on my bottom lash line. Now I'm just applying gold to the center of my bottom lash line. 
and now I'm using the Avon eyeliner pencil in dark brown on my bottom waterline. And then I'm just gonna apply mascara on my bottom lashes. For highlighter, I'm using a mixture of Mimosa and Crushed Pearl from the Anastasia Gleam Kit. Yeah, I was trying to be bougie and use a pencil brush for my nose highlight, but it just works better with my fingers. For the Cupid's bow, I'm using Mimosa. For lip liner, I'm using the NYX Suede Lip Liner in Soft Spoken. For lipstick, I'm using the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also watch Kathy's video. I'll leave it in the description box down below. And I will see you in my next video. My girl, my girl, my girl.